Now, as I like to do typically for all the wrestling pay-per-views, I like to get you guys out of prediction video real quick. Uh, I know it is now 11 o'clock and Crown Jewel is about to start within a couple of hours. So I want to go ahead and push this out here. It will not be a long video. We're going to be talking about Crown Jewel. And I know a lot of you libtards here. You're like, oh, we hate the Saudi pay-per-views. <laughs> Grow the fuck up, man. Who the fuck cares about Jamal Khashoggi? I want to see Gunther versus Cody Rhodes and Roman back in the ring. I'm JB Gunther. This is Heel Nation. Let's do it. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Heel Nation. Now, I normally would do my shilling thing. If you want to support channel, links down below. You can go check out some of my work down there. But I want to get this video out to you guys as quick as possible. You guys know the drill. Uh, we're going to pretty much jump right on into Crown Jewel. We're going to take a look at this. Guys, I think this is actually a good pay-per-view. Uh, I like the fact that I think there's seven matches now instead of only five. I hate the five-match pay-per-view pay-per-view NXT structure that Triple H does with WWE pay-per-views. I think it's horrible. I think it's, if I was paying for the pay-per-views like we used to, I'd feel cheated than a motherfucker. No question about it. But guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's talk about the card. Let's talk about what we got. And clearly, we're going to start off with the big match. Cody Rhodes versus Gunther in a champion versus champion match. And apparently the winner of this match will become the men's crown jewel champion. Now, when you look at the crown jewel championship, it's no different than the greatest Royal Rumble. It's just a way to make the Saudis happy and to make the matches feel like they're for something. When it comes to this match, I do not necessarily like it because you have to make one of the champions, you know, lose which I do not find to be beneficial unless you're going to do a, a title unification. Um, Gunther versus Cody, there has to be some fuckery because you don't want to, you don't want Cody to take a clean loss and you damn sure don't want Gunther to take a clean loss. So I think what we're going to see in this matchup is Goldberg. I think this is pretty obvious. I think we'll see Goldberg. I think Goldberg will cost Gunther. Um, because you want to keep Cody Rhodes strong going into possible pay-per-view WrestleManias with The Rock, uh, Roman Reigns, anything of that nature, uh, Randy Orton. Um, so I feel like Gunther is going to take the loss here and that it may not hurt him that much. It depends on what your future plans are with Gunther, uh, because you're damn sure not going to let Goldberg beat Gunther. I think what we'll see is Goldberg get involved, nail a spear, um, and ultimately that will allow Cody Rhodes to get the win. And I think that will set up a uh, Gunther versus Goldberg match for Saturday night's main event. That's my prediction, is that Cody Rhodes gets the win in this matchup. I think it's going to be a banger. I think Cody Rhodes, you're going to see his chest look like fucking, you know, Chop meat, you know what I'm saying? Because I think Gunther is going to chop the shit out of him. I think this match will go at least 15 to 20 minutes. It'll be hard hitting. It'll be physical. I think we may even see blood in this matchup, but we're damn sure going to see Cody Rose, Cody Rose chest chop the fuck up. So I think that, and then in the end, somehow Goldberg comes in, spears Gunther. Gunther takes the loss. Uh, it's not a clean loss, so it doesn't hurt him that much. It allows for Goldberg versus Gunther in a one-off match at Saturday night's main event. And I think that's what we're going to see. So I got Cody Rhodes going over Gunther, unfortunately, uh, in this matchup. I'm a Gunther fan, so it doesn't make me happy at all. Guys, we then got Roman Reigns and the Usos versus the new Bloodline. This ought to be interesting, right? Um, I don't, I'm not sure which three they're going to go with. Part of me thinks they're going to save Solo Sokoa, but then part of me thinks that the real move to make is to save Jacob Fott, too. So, it all depends on who you think is going to win this matchup. So, we know we're going to get Roman Reigns and the Usos. We know that two of the people in the matchup is more than likely going to be Tonga Loa and, and what's his name? Um, however, the qu real question is, is will the third person be Solo Sokoa or Jacob Batu? If they're trying to hold off, 
<coughs> and do Roman Reigns versus Solo Sokoa, which clearly is coming. But my, my issue here is that I do not... I believe that you can have Solo in this matchup because remember, we've already seen a tag matchup. We've already seen Roman Reigns in the ring with Solo Sokoa. I think that the match that you really want to save, the confrontation, the in-ring confrontation that you want to save is going to be Jacob Fott too. Because even though I think Solo Sokoa versus Roman Reigns is going to be perhaps the match at Royal Rumble, perhaps the match, uh, maybe even Saturday night's main event, um, I, I still believe that your big banger of a match that you will eventually get is Jacob Fott too. However, I don't feel like the WWE is booking it that way. I think they want you to believe that the, the main event of this feud is going to be Solo versus Roman. So, unfortunately, something tells me they're going to put Jacob Vought 2 in this matchup to, to, instead of Solo Sokoa. Either way, no matter who they put in this matchup, I believe that you cannot have, if you have Roman and the Usos win, how many losses in a row is this for the new bloodline? They just lost the tag team title. Solo's lost how many times, right? Um, I think this matchup and War Games, potentially, but at least this matchup to make War Games even feel believable, I think you have to have the heels win this matchup. Will there be outside interference? Any new debuts? Yes. Because I don't believe there'll be any necessarily at war games. So I believe this could be the day that you see Talatunga or Zilla Fatu uh, or maybe even The Rock come out. I highly doubt The Rock, but somebody will help the new bloodline and make this basically five versus three going into war games. And I think that over the next two weeks, the big thing will be who's going to join Roman and the Usos. Clearly, Sami Zayn will, but I think Sami Zayn will turn heel at war games. Um, I think Sami Zayn will be on the Usos' side, but I also believe Sami Zayn will eventually turn heel. And War Games looks like the, the, the... And I'll talk more about that later. But so in this matchup, I think the new bloodline defeats the OG bloodline. And I think Jimmy Uso probably takes the, the fall, um, unfortunately. But I think that's probably the way this is going to go. Um, with, with a new addition to the new bloodline, whether that be The Rock um, making his allegiance known, I doubt that. But more than likely, one of the new bloodlines, Talatunga or, or Zilla Fatu, more than likely, Talatunga. <coughs> Why do I say that? Talatunga is already signed. So we got, that's what we got there. We got Roman Reigns, um, unfortunately, losing this matchup. Um, unfortunately. All right, what do we got next? We got the Women's Crown Jewel Championship. We got Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan. I think that this match uh, is going to have a lot of fuckery. I, th I think that what we saw on SmackDown with um, essentially uh, uh, Tiffany Stratton wanting Dominic Mysterio, which I think was cool. I think it would be cool to see Dominic go to Trisha, uh, Tiffany Stratton. Uh, here's what I think is going to happen. I think Nia Jax will lose both things in this matchup. I think Liv Morgan will pull out the win. And then I think ultimately, while Nia Jax is down and out, I think Tiffany Stratton cashes in money in the bank and she leaves Crown Jewel as the WWE Women's Champion. I believe that we'll see a lot of fuckery from Dom and Raquel Rodriguez. And I think ultimately, that's going to be too much for um, Nia Jax. I think... They even hinted at it on SmackDown when Liv Morgan is like, I got people around me I can trust. You do not. And I think that's going to come to fruition in at Crown Jewel. I think Liv Morgan will get this victory they have to. Because uh, in my opinion, they have to. And I think Nia Jax takes a double loss and she eventually loses. And Tiffany Stratton leaves with the title. Now, I think when they do this, this can turn Nia Jax into a beast, a monster. She's been, she's lost it all in Saudi Arabia. Maybe even have her join the bloodline her goddamn self. You know what I mean? However, I think Liv Morgan walks away 
with the Crown Jewel Championship, and I think that uh, Tiffany Stratton walks away with the WWE Women's Championship, and uh, I think it finalizes, because I don't believe they're going to send Tiffany Stratton to Raw. Does that make sense? Tiffany Stratton is guaranteed she's cashing in. Seth Rollins versus Bronson, Bronson Reed. This is going to be a banger, fucking banger. I love Bronson Reed now. I think he's awesome. Uh, and look, man, Seth Rollins does not need this win. WWE would be fools to book Seth Rollins to win this matchup. I'm just being honest. And I understand this may be a one and done, um, that maybe Seth Rollins will go into a punk feud after this. But in my opinion, I think you have to, it, there's no better time than now to show that Bronson Reed is the next big thing. You have to build him as a monster. A big win over Seth Rollins at a big event like Crown Jewel would be major. Um, so I think that's where we're going to go. I do not believe they're going to do a squash or anything like that. Uh, but I do believe Bronson Reed will look dominant in this match. Uh, in the end, Seth Rollins... Maybe Beth, Becky Lynch comes back. You know what? Maybe Becky Lynch returns and throws in the towel for Seth Rollins. I want you to think about this. That would be a perfect way for Becky Lynch to return to the WWE. Bronson Reed just keeps pouring it on, doing, doing, you know, uh, doing a splash after splash, just destroying Rollins. Rollins is bleeding in from his innards, guys. And then Becky Lynch comes out and throws in the white towel and... Seth Rollins loses that way. You protect Seth Rollins in that way. You return Becky Lynch to pro wrestling that way. And you put over Bronson Reed that way. And that is how you should book that match. And that is actually how I predict uh, this match to go. Bronson Reed with the big, big, big victory over Seth Rollins. KO versus Randy Orton. Listen, man. Make no mistake about this Randy Orton KO thing. In the end, it's going to be Randy Orton that turns heel and eventually either takes the title or has a program with Cody Rhodes. Um, this Kevin Owens thing, yeah, he's a heel right now. Maybe even they both go heel. Um, but in this, I this is in my opinion, this is just something to give Randy Orton something to do in the meantime until he gets an opportunity to go at Cody Rhodes. I do believe the Cody Rhodes thing will begin to begin after this. Um, this matchup, I believe Randy Orton will get this victory. Um, cause I, but then again, you can't have Kevin Owens lose again, right? Um, does it make sense? Like, to me, that's a struggle. But maybe Sami Zayn comes out and helps KO. Um, I don't know. I, but I also kind of, I don't know what you do here. I don't know what you do here. But I do know that Randy Orton, if he's going to be your next contender, you can't have him taking a loss to Kevin Owens. But then again, Kevin Owens, if he's going to be the guy to wrestle Cody Rhodes at Saturday night's main event, do you have him lose another match? I believe this. That's a hell of a question, man. I have to make a pick, don't I? This one, I really don't know. This one has to be, but, but, but. Common sense says that maybe another loss for Randy Orton will be what makes him snap and turn into the old Viper. So I'm going to go out on a limb. Kevin Owens wins this matchup to set up Kevin Owens versus Cody Rhodes at Saturday Night's main event. Uh, I can't believe I just said this because but because I don't want to see Randy lose. But you have to, there has to be something that makes Randy Orton snap. And turn back into the legend killer, the old Viper. You know what I mean? There has to be something. And maybe this does it. Maybe this does it. And Kevin Owens says, look, I'm trying to teach you, trying to tell you. Uh, we have a triple threat for the uh, United States Championship. We got Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, and L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight's U.S. title reign has been very, very weak. Um, I do not believe, though, however that they are going to take the title off of him this quick. I think Andrade and Carmelo Hayes will cancel each other out, allowing L.A. Knight to get this victory. So I am picking L.A. Knight. If they're going to give it the, the title to anyone, I believe it will be Carmelo Hayes. I don't want to see that, though. I don't believe Carmelo Hayes is ready for a U.S. championship. Um, however, we already got Braun Breaker as a heel Intercontinental champion on Raw. Um, to me, L.A. Knight has to hit his stride, right? And I just do not see 
them removing the title from LA Knight this soon without him hitting his stride as US champ. He really hasn't had anything thrown at him. You know what I'm saying? He's been involved with these two and their little best of seven shit almost the entire time. Who has LA Knight really defended the title against and who has LA Knight had a program with as US champion for the most part? So I don't believe the LA Knight experiment is over, nor do I believe it should be. LA Knight should have a more meaningful U.S. title program, and this he shouldn't have been thrown into this program with Carmelo Hayes and Andrade. They should have just did their best of seven, did what they do, uh, and then all this time, LA Knight should have been building a program with someone else. I refuse to believe that Triple H is going to drop the ball on LA Knight this quick, give, make him give up the title, and then everybody's going to say he had a weak title run. You got to give LA Knight a chance to shine as US champ. We waited a long time for LA Knight to win that title. So I think LA Knight's going to win this. Um, the women's. Um, four fatal four way tag team match. Um, Jay Cargill, Bianca Belair versus Kyrie Zane, EO Sky, Last Legend, and Jakara, Chelsea Green, and Piper Nevin. I do believe this is going to begin the crack of Bianca Belair and Jade, Bel- and Jade Cargill. I don't think they're going to wait to the Royal Rumble. I think they're going to begin that crack tonight in this matchup. Uh, we don't have any pay per views the rest of the year. Well, Survivor Series. Look, man, I believe this is the time to pull the trigger. And I believe that basically Kyrie Zane and EO Sky could be the new Kabuki Warriors type thing. I think that would look really well because here's the thing. If you're not going to give EO Sky the women's championship, which I don't think they're going to do, they're going to give other people a chance to run with it, then you you can't let her talent go to waste. Um, the, the, The two black women from NXT, they're not winning shit. They're not winning shit. Period. Fuck them. They're not winning shit. Now that leaves, so that leaves between Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, um, Chelsea Green, and Piper. I hope they give it to Chelsea Green, Piper, Nippon. I think they deserve a, a run with the titles. However, there's something about it and the way the crowd seems to love damage control right now. I think damage control, based on the EO Sky win this past, I think damage control can get this. Uh, I think Damage Control walks away. EO Sky and uh, Kyrie Zane, I think, walk away with the tag team titles. But I also think that a strong possibility is also Piper Nevin and Chelsea Green. At some point, there has to be a payoff. And I believe Piper Nevin is good enough in the ring and Chelsea Green people seem to love and like. So... I do believe we're going to see new tag team champions. I believe we'll also start to see the breakdown of Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. I think the, the other two little black chicks are just there for whatever reason, just to give them a shot. And, you know, whatever, uh, to see how they do on the big stage. But if I have to make a pick, I'm going to go with damage. You know what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with Piper Nevin. And Chelsea Green. That's my final pick. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green walk away with the tag team titles. And they should. They should walk away. That's how I would book it. Uh, and I believe that's the seven matches. I believe we, we went through. Let's go look at the list again. So we got Roman Reigns and the Usos versus the Bloodline. Uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos versus the Bloodline. Uh, I believe the, the, the heel Bloodline wins that. Cody Rhodes will beat Gunther with, the, with, with, with interference from uh, Goldberg. And by the way, Talatanga or somebody will interfere to help the bloodline. The women's championship, uh, uh, the, I mean, the women's uh, crown jewel championship, I believe Liv Morgan will win and Trish, uh, Tiffany Stratton will cash in money in the bank on Nia Jax win that title. Seth Rollins, Bronson Reed. I think Bronson Reed will uh, destroy him, and I even think Becky Lynch might come in and throw out, throw in the towel. I think Bronson Reed walks away with that victory. Kevin Owens, I think, will defeat Randy Orton. That was my hardest pick of the night. Uh, then with the U.S. Championship, I believe L.A. Knight retains that title. Um, and then the Women's Champion Tag Team Championship. I believe that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my, my – my gut says damage control because they need to do something with EO Sky. But you could always have her win a rumble. No, that ain't going to happen either. 
I believe you have to at some point give Chelsea Green and Piper Niven the titles. It's not like they care that much about the goddamn tag team championship for the women anyway. So that's it. New Bloodline, Cody Rhodes, Liv Morgan, Bronson Reed, Kevin Owens, LA Knight, Niven and Green. That's my prediction, guys. Let me know what yours are in the comment section. Love you guys. I'm JB Gunner. This is Heel Nation. If you want some more channel links, as always, are down below. I'm going to get this up. I'm out.